Welcome friends, I'm Smita Kati from the blog Smiling Colors and in today's video I'll walk you through my process of creating a floral illustration using alcohol markers. Today I've pulled out Tombow's ABT Pro alcohol based marker 12 pack called Fashion Palette. The colors selected in this 12 pack are really unique, I love the combination and I know that the colors are well coordinated. I'm using a Bristol paper with this. You want to use any kind of marker paper with your alcohol-based markers to get best results. With the brush tip of the lightest color, that's P910, I'm just doodling petal shapes first. I like starting with the lightest color in the pack. This way I get to know how the colors look on paper. If I don't like the color that much, I can always go in with a darker shade and add more details. For my simple floral illustration, I always use the rule of threes. I like to add three elements in each color. So all of my flowers will mainly have three of them scattered on the page. This just draws the eye very nicely around the page and adds more interest to your illustration. I love the way this color looks and I'm going to add a little more detail to each of the flowers using the P992 color. Just adding some centers, a little color to the bottom and that's it. Now I'm picking up the pink color which is P772. I love this pink color and with that I'm just adding a little bit of detail to each of the petal. I'm just overlapping the color onto the lighter shade. Nothing much, just adding a few strokes here and there to add a hint of pink to each of the florals. It doesn't have to look perfect, it can look rough and sketchy. For the leaves, I picked up the green that comes in this set. This is the P177 color. It is such a bold green color that contrasts beautifully with those light peach florals. I'm adding leaves to each of the flowers now. Next I picked up the purple color which is P606 and again I'm doodling flower shapes. My flowers are really simple, I just draw petal like shapes, I make sure all of my petal shapes are irregular, nothing matches, nothing looks precise, that just adds to the roughness and the sketchiness of my illustration. Now I'm coming in with the grey color which is PN95 to add stalks and leaves for the purple leaves, for the purple flower sorry. The thing that I like to do is I always pick two colors, one for the flowers and one for the leaves and I make a combination of them and I spread that around the page. To fill in in between gaps, I love drawing circles. These can look like flower buds, these can look like fillers, it doesn't really matter, it just adds more interest to your illustration and I'm using the color number P992 here which is like a sand color. You don't really need to do much, just draw a circle, overlap it a little bit to fill it in and that's it. So I really like how the page is looking right now. I'm going to come in now and fill in those gaps that I have. And I'm picking up the pink color which is P772. The pink is my favorite color so I'm not surprised that I want to use this again. The pink is just very soft and beautiful on the page. And what I'm trying to do right now is fill in all of the big white spaces with more of those pink florals. I overlap the pink to create a little more depth. And now I'm reaching for the red color and using the chisel tip only to add slight hints of red to the bottom of each of the florals. The red color I'm using is P847 and I don't want a lot of the red on the page so I'm just using a hint of it. And for these pink flowers I'm using a blue color as the stalk and leaf color. This again adds so much more contrast. Who thinks of blue flower? It just adds such a whimsical touch to this. I encourage you to reach for colors that you wouldn't normally think for as florals and try out drawing some floral illustrations. I use the darker blue here now, the P535 color, to fill in the white space and add more tiny leaves. I'm finishing off the illustration with the gray pen that I have, the PN95 color, and I'm adding empty leaves, that's just outlines of leaves, and then I'm touching up any of the space that I have with some peach and green leaves. You just want to fill in all of the white space with some tiny dots, tiny outlines of leaves, anything goes, just make it creative and yours. To finish off my page, I'm just lettering a quote on the side using the mono drawing pen in 02 thickness. I don't want the quote to be bold because the florals are so bold and colorful already. And here is my finished illustration. I had so much fun creating this with you friends and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what you think of today's project. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then, happy crafting!